Hello everyone, welcome to Wheats, the marijuana review show where we help you find wonderful folks, make sense of that crazy mixed up place you call your local dispensary. Today we are taking a look at a vape brand that is quite huge uh, and one that has managed to escape our attention for some time here on Wheats, and that is the fine folks over at Legion of Bloom. Legion of Bloom. Yes, Legion of Bloom, they make all kinds of different 510 um, thread vape pot or carts, as well as I think they partner with PAX and make um, different PAX pods uh, with their under their Legion of Bloom, Bloom line as well. We are taking a look at their Mendo Breath Indica 1 gram here today. Uh, on the back, we've got their uh, lab testing results, uh, showing it coming in at, if it'll focus, uh, 78% THC. Uh, and then, as everybody's going to want to know, this comes in at $45 for a one gram. Uh, it'll never focus. Terrible at that. 45 bucks for the one gram uh, cartridge uh, at a dispensary in Long Beach, which puts it right smack dab in the average cost range for uh, uh, vapes at this dispensary. Mendo Breath uh, is a, a strain that I'm not a huge strain guy, but one that I do tend to like. Um, and let's go ahead. Uh, I'm a big fan of, uh, and by big fan, I mean I usually hate reading the sort of uh, overly flowery uh, prose that they, these companies include on their packaging to sell you on them. So let's let's lead you a little bit of the Legion of Blooms story here. Legion of Bloom is a coalition of eco-conscious cultivators with a deep reverence for the cannabis plant. We carefully select terpene-rich genetics and capture their essence through solventless extraction methods. Combined with triple refined cannabis oil, the result is a full-spectrum experience unmatched in flavor and purity. We invite you to join our Legion. Neat, let's join. So let's go ahead and open this bad boy up. Uh, let me go ahead and mention this packaging. Really beautiful packaging, by the way. Uh, it doesn't look that um, crazy opulent either in terms of materials. It's just very neat looking. I really like the design. It's sparkly and gold. And, and I, I guess I kind of, um, uh, you know, um, have the, uh, the sort of, uh, brain attention of a bird and like the shiny sparkly things gets my attention like this does uh i want to build a nest out of this legion of bloom cartridge packaging so uh we've pulled the little tab here let us slide open that was easy not too bad more uh marketing materials there and then in here we have got the thing itself Wow, okay, a lot of materials. Nice, thick plastic there. And we're finally to the cartridge itself. Ooh, that is some nice looking oil, guys. Yum. That that oil actually looks incredible. Uh, very thick looking, uh, incredibly pure. Ooh, I'm excited to give this a try. This has got me really amped up. Uh, it's got like the ceramic uh, tip with that. It, well, it, it might be some kind of plastic. It feels like ceramic. Um, but it is a nice material. I've seen a lot of uh, the newer cartridges using this either higher quality plastic or some kind of ceramic. Uh, it works a lot better than the cheaper acrylic tips. So here we go. Let's finally give this Mendo's Breath a try. Hmm. Uh oh. Well, my battery was showing that it was drawing, but I'm not getting anything. Let me try a different battery. I have one here on standby. Let's give it another shot.
Well, looks like I've got a bum battery. Sorry, beloved um, Raw Gardens battery. You look like you're finally going to have to join the collection in this guy. Uh, but this battery works fine, and this cartridge tastes great. I forgot to mention, they call this the Monarch, um, with a 100% cannabis-derived terpenes. So this is uh, triple refined cannabis oil, and then all of the terpenes that are added back in are the terpenes from the Mendo Breath strain itself. Um, it tastes like Mendo Breath that, I don't know, it's a very hard to describe taste. almost spiced in a way. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, and the oil itself is uh, appears to taste as good as it looks uh, quality-wise. So smooth. Um, wow. <coughs> Man, that is... <laughs> quality stuff. Um, yeah, that just vaguely spiced taste that uh, some Mendo's breath, Mendo breath strain has. This has in spades uh, quite high already uh, after those couple of hits. You saw how smooth it was too. Uh, I didn't really feel it at all going in, um, but rather big hits off not very hard draws as well. Um, nice cartridge design, seemingly, as well, from uh, Legion of Bloom, or they use a nice cartridge. Uh, so far, so good here. Ooh, wow. Guys, I, I, I mean, I barely feel it going in. Uh, certainly feel it in the head as it's going out. Uh, strong, tasty, um, and just some really quality, quality oil. Um, this is a big old thumbs up so far for Legion of Bloom. I can see why they have are a 10 times award winning company. Good for them. Uh, great tasting not bad, uh, affordably priced right in the uh, average price range at the dispenser I go to. So, so far, this is a big thumbs up for Legion of Bloom uh, with their Mendo's Breath Strain. Uh, I am really, really looking forward to finishing this one off. Uh, as like all of our week's reviews, I'm going to review the whole cartridge, not just these first couple of hits because these things tend to leak, they tend to clog, they tend to break down. All these things can pop up, as you guys know. So it'll probably take me about five days or so to finish this gram off. Uh, really looking forward to doing that. And as soon as I do, I will come right back here, let you guys know our wrap-up thoughts of this Legion of Bloom experience. But first half, so far, so good. Anyways, we'll see you guys right back here for part two in just a bit. Thanks for watching. Welcome back to Weeds, guys. It has been about five and a half days since we started our journey with the Monarch from Legion of Bloom, their Mendo Breath Strain. This one gram, $45 cartridge, five days later. Uh, my impressions are just as rapturous as they were before. I really, really, really like this one. I like the quality of the oil, like the taste of the strain, that sort of spiced, nutmeggy, cinnamony, vague taste of uh, the Mendo's breath here was great. Um, that oil, as I said, quality top to bottom, never got that uh, burnt taste, never got that, never started to burn that, uh, or get those big, uh, cloudy, sort of vapor heavy hits, nothing like that. Um, just fantastic quality. Uh, cartridge design worked incredibly well, no clogs, didn't have to get that like um, big first draw to get it going. Just a fantastic uh, product. Really happy uh, with the 
Legion of Bloom system. Not sure, again, why it's called the Monarch. It's got the Mendo Breath Strain and the name the Monarch, but we'll forgive them. We'll forgive Legion of Bloom. We'll forgive the name the Monarch because it's so good. Big old thumbs up here, just as I had hoped. And anytime we have a thumbs up this big, we like to give a little cherry on top, a little something extra that you can enjoy that is not necessarily weed related and you don't necessarily need weed to enjoy. Although this recommendation you might want a little weed beforehand because it's gonna make that penis all the better. That's right, we're talking Pen 15 on our Cherry on Top, a show that just entered its second season on Hulu. A phenomenal show. Hi, thank you. Uh, a phenomenal show that just entered its second season on HBO, and by HBO I do mean Hulu. Uh, it is a one joke premise. It is about two 30 uh, something year old women who pretend to be middle schoolers around the era of Y2K and they act with a bunch of 12, 13 year old kids and say a bunch of foul mouth inappropriate things. It sounds like it should get boring very quickly, but it's actually hysterical. And if you are like me in your early to mid thirties, you're going to be uh, very, very at home in that aesthetic. So check out Pen15, or as I prefer to call it, Penis on Hulu, and check out Legion of Bloom the Monarch at your local dispensary. Two things that I enjoy having in my mouth a whole lot. Well, 